Hi guys and welcome once again. It's Bella Networking Guru and I have my lovely New York guest with me, Michelle Corker. And today um, I'm so happy because Michelle's going to share some live tips. She actually works as a photographer and director. So we're going to have a chat about how she started her business and she actually has two brands. So this is going to be great. For those of you that are new to my show, every Monday I host a Bella Networking Facebook live show. If you're watching, please hit the blue likes. And if you have any comments, write a comment below and I'll be so happy to answer. And yes, I'm in New York. I'm here for five weeks. So for the whole of October, all of my Facebook shows will be live from New York. So without further ado, Michelle, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi. My name is Michelle Kalka and I'm a photographer and director here in New York City. I'm a native New Yorker uh, from Queens and uh, thanks for having me Bella, oh, I really thank appreciate you. it. No, I'm glad you're here because um, you're one of my New York gems. I've known you now, I think when I first came back yeah, in 2013, right. it was a fourth of you. But you know, I don't remember how we met. We met through, uh, through our friend Francesca Burek. Oh, yeah, with, uh, with business and professional women. Okay, I knew it was a women's networking event, yeah. but I couldn't remember. Wow, mm -hmm. and I've got to say thank you for staying in contact yeah. for all of this time. Thank you. So I can't wait to share a bit about your story and your focus as a photographer because you have a great brand. So what are your two business brands? How, what, what, the, what are the names if you'd love to share? Sure, so my I, uh, I market under my own name, Michelle mm -hmm. And that's really more my commercial brand. Um, sure. It's you know it's really aimed towards corporate, mm -hmm. uh, where I photograph portraits for actors, for business people, mm. um, for aspiring models, or even just people who let's say they've just lost a great deal of weight and they really feel fabulous mm. and they really want some really beautiful pictures. Um, I also shoot a lot of corporate events, mm. uh, and also I direct corporate video, which I love doing. It's a lot of so fun. So do you, are you behind the camera as well for the video? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do more of the, the producing uh, and the directing, and sure. I have a very talented uh, cameraman and uh, video editor that we've been working together for probably eight years now. Sure, so, sure. You know, we both share the same vision, oh, which is really yeah. important. That's so. really great. So the second brand is what? My second brand is High Heels Studios. I yes. love that name. Thank High you. High Heels Studios. <laughs> yes. Power to the women. Right. <laughs> uh, and it's really focused on my wedding photography. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people do hire me for weddings. They really like my style. Mm -hmm. uh, so I decided to create another website mm -hmm. and another brand that's mm -hmm. just focused on that. I like that focus, which is really, really great. So, yeah. So, um, how long have you been working as a photographer in total? I've been working as a photographer since 2001, professionally. Wow. Wow. I started. I started assisting other sure. photographers in 2001, mm -hmm. and um, you know, at that time, a lot of my friends actually were getting married, and I brought my camera to their weddings, and they wound up liking my pictures better than the professional photographers mm. they had hired. Mm. Uh, and I was like, "Huh, this is really fun, and I enjoy it. Uh, it's artistic. I always wanted to do something in the arts mm -hmm. professionally." And because you're very creative. So. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I've always been very creative. Yeah. I've always been drawn to that. Sure. And it just grew from there. Sure. I, so I'm thinking as well, just like in the UK, photography is quite competitive. So is it super competitive here in New York as well? Yes. There are many photographers here here in New York. Uh, but you know, there there, seem, there is a lot sure. of work. You yeah. Know? It is, it is enough a, money to go around. <laughs> it is the global media, yeah. media capital. Sure, sure. There are a lot of actors and actresses, yeah. a lot of businesses yeah. located here. Sure, so, so. a big need, which mm -hmm. is good. So for yourself, and I love the way you're brand focused, what type of marketing strategies or activities do you do to attract your clients or what works the best for you? Uh, honestly, word of mouth. Okay, but, uh, brilliant. But also going to a lot of networking mm. events. Um, I, I really believe when people see me with the camera in mm. my hand and see how, how I handle an event or mm. a shoot, that really is the best advertising. 
However, you know, that I can't always just rely on that. So mm -hmm. I do belong to some networking organizations. Mm -hmm. um, and then also I did invest in some search engine optimization into my website and that's brought me quite a few clients sure, as well. Sure. I think where you touched on networking, it's so important because one of the things that stood out when I first met you is you're very personable. And when you're hiring a photographer or somebody to do your video, you know, um, you do show a bit of um, imperfections and you're quite vulnerable. So for you to just, you know, guide me and put me in the right place, I, I really like that about you. So that's really great. Thank you. I, uh, I always like into having your photo taken. A lot of people feel like it's like going to the dentist. They don't like it. They're not comfortable mm. with it. And I really, I try to make it fun. Mm. I try to make people forget that they're they're being photographed. Mm. You know, mm. I like to have a conversation in which I just happen to be taking picture and mm -hmm. really that's that's what it's about sure so since starting your business in 2001 what's been like your biggest accomplishment biggest challenge that you've achieved um, I think one of the biggest biggest accomplishments that I've had was working with uh, Camco Supply Corp which oh, is, okay what do they do they are actually a very large construction supply firm oh, nice. uh, based in Brooklyn um, actually if you drive along the BQE you can see see the big black and yellow sign and uh, I actually have been working with them since 2013 and one of the major projects I did was create a photo archive for them of all of the products that they uh, that they sell uh, as well as creating a series of videos that promote their various services Wow Wow and so then sorry you said how long did that project last for that was a good Three to four month project. Mm -hmm. um, actually, it was going to happen in 2012, and then Superstorm Sandy happened. Oh wow! Uh, and so we had to push it off. But actually, it worked out great because by that time the Freedom Tower had been completed, so we got some really gorgeous oh, shots that's beautiful. with the completed Freedom Tower sure, in the background. Sure. Oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah. So guys, if you're watching, you are tuned in to the Monday Better Networking Facebook show. I'm your host, Better Networking Guru, and I'm live for London. I'm live in New York, my apologies. I'm here for the whole month of October, and I'm joined with my lovely photographer, director, M Michelle Corker. And um, if you have any comments, please drop your questions below, and they'll be answered after the show. And do hit the blue lights. So I also found out that you won an award. Do you want to give a bit more information about uh, that? Sure. I was named one of the rising stars of uh, Queens. Um, so it's a it's an award given to to young members of the business community. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. That must have felt quite an accomplishment. It was great. Oh, yeah. brilliant, brilliant. So I would actually also like to ask, because I know you're so passionate about photography. If you weren't a photographer, what type of job world do you think you would have, or what would you do? It's oh, a great question. <laughs> um, I think maybe I'd be a private investigator. Wow. Yeah, Why well, is that then? I just think it would be very interesting. Sure. Um, very interesting work. I like research. Uh, I like putting putting clues together. I like mm. mysteries. Mm. Uh, and then maybe maybe a movie producer. Uh, I really love to read. Mm. And I really, I, I can read like a 200 page book in three wow. hours. Yeah, it's my superpower. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. So like um, on average, like in a month, how many books do you read? I probably read three to four books. And wow. I, I think last year was my high. I think I read 60 books last mm -hmm. year. Is it a way for you to detox and relax? Totally. Oh good. Totally. Good. And I keep track of everything I could read so sure. you, can, you can follow me on And Goodreads. are you more like um, the paper or you Amazon like the t reading it from a smartphone or a tablet? Both. Oh okay. Both. Yeah. I'm, I like the old school. I'm still the pages. Mm -hmm. I just can't get the um, the, the audio going on. No, I actually don't mind the audio, but I can't get the new tablet style. Right. So, yeah. So, for our viewers, um, I'd love you to share like a top tip or two tips um, to do with photography because things have changed so much and you know, people are using iPhones and you know, I think it's still great to have professional photography. So, what tips would you give to our viewers? One of the tips I would give is that if you're working at a uh, or speaking at a corporate event and you are at the podium. Um, I get a lot of people who speak very
very quickly, especially here in New York. We're very fast paced. We love to speak. We want everything yesterday. And one thing I noticed, if they're not used to speaking at a podium, is that they'll they'll read their comments and they'll look down. And an editor or a marketing a marketing person can't really run a photo when we see your forehead. So I would say that they realize, do they? No, and they don't. So I would suggest slow down, mm -hmm. pause, make eye contact with the audience. Mm -hmm. That's and, a really good tip. Yeah, sure. So. Do you also do like a full briefing if somebody's having a corporate shot, like promoting their business, in terms of colors or what they should wear or their hair and makeup? Absolutely. Do you absolutely. do that as well? Absolutely. It's, uh, I actually have written a, a blog post about that oh, that great. I sent yeah. to all my clients sure. before. And the shine like on the forehead or the T-zone. Exactly. <laughs> do, exactly. You carry, do you carry a bit of like matte powder or L'Oreal um, powder? I do. Actually, the little rice paper. Yeah. I the love that. Yeah, the blotting <laughs> paper. It's great. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And I'd love to ask, because you've been really successful, if you could look back in your first year, because we all make mistakes as an entrepreneur, what would you like to whisper in your ear or change anything in the first year of your business? Uh, well, that's a great question. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I think, I think probably investing a little bit more in my website mm. and in technology. Mm. Mm. I, I think that definitely is sure is, is sure it. I agree actually because um websites should be structured dependent on your industry so yeah being a photographer um I guess like um pasty photos or being very um visual would be really important but when you start out and you've got a budget you work with what you've got so you exactly. know that's really, that's really important so um on my show before i close i always give my guests an opportunity to ask me a question or a networking question to help your business so before we close the better networking facebook show do you have a question to ask me sure the question i'd ask you is in a networking event a question i often get asked is why should i invest in professional photography um, because you know, with an iPhone now, uh, I can just have I can just have somebody do it with an iPhone, and to some extent, that is correct. You know, an iPhone does take a very nice picture now. Um, but how would you advise that I answer that question? I mean, I know I have my answers, but mm -hmm. I'm just curious as to, mm -hmm. to what your, your mm -hmm. thought would okay. be. Okay, so I think there's three parts that I'd love to share with you because I do totally agree and. I've been a networking business speaker for a long time, so I know the value of having great corporate shops and why it's important. So I think the first one is to sell your story and put you as the industry expert. So earlier we talked about how you're really great at briefing new clients before um, you do the photography or maybe the day before. And I think you should sell that story there and use the expert to say one of the reasons it's so important because I actually coach you to get the best photography be um, as possible by making you look great and giving you tips. Whereas if a friend or a colleague is taking the photos, they're not going to get that. So the lighting may be good, but the whole structure of how they look is not going to be professional. So that would be really great. And I'd say a second part of that, talk about a client and how you told them and advise them to look their best and you know maybe you can show them and perhaps have some of those photos ready on your iPhone to, to show them. Um, another thing that's really really important is that with yourself as a photographer you add the service which I'm sure you do is like editing and making sure you pick up like one. So by telling and sharing that post-production a lot of people don't realize that it's all fun and well going click, 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 click with the iPhone, but actually it's going to be time consuming for them to make it look really, really professional. And these days with a corporate event or you're trying to um, show your business professionally, people can tell when it's an iPhone and professional. So it's also about just really um, communicating that you only get one chance to make a first impression. So that's why it's better really to invest in professional photography for the long-term great um, first impression. Mm -hmm. So I think those kind of two, three tips will be able to help you there.
Great. Fantastic. Wonderful. So guys, you have watched the Better Networking Facebook live show. I'm here every Monday and as mentioned, I'm here in New York for the month of October. And a big thank you to my guest Michelle. Her contact details will be um, in the bio.